Snatched by a stranger in the night, a 20-year-old expectant mother vanished from a city in western Missouri, never to be heard from or seen again. Tonight, on Dark Curiosities, the abduction of Angela Hammond. Angela Marie Hammond was born on the 9th of February 1971 and worked in Clinton as a bank clerk and studied at Central Missouri State University. Angie, as she was known, was recently engaged to be married to Rob Schaefer, an 18-year-old athlete who had desires to have a career in the military. They became betrothed after they discovered that Angie was expecting a child. It was April 4th, 1991, and by this time, Angela was four months pregnant. She had spent a part of the evening at a barbecue with Rob and then dropped him off at his home at approximately 10pm as he needed to babysit his younger brother. Angela said that she was going to visit her best friend, Kyla, and the couple made arrangements to meet up again at some point later that night. Kyla and Angie drove through downtown Clinton for roughly an hour, then Angie decided to call Rob from a nearby food barn parking lot. Just after a quarter past eleven, she used her credit card to ring her fiancé and the pair spoke for a little while. During their conversation, a sinister presence caught Angela off guard. She suddenly felt deeply anxious and described the scene to Rob. There was a strange man driving a battered pickup truck around the parking lot. The vehicle parked close to where Angie stood and the man got out and picked up a phone in a booth next to her. Angie then quietly described the truck as being a green Ford F-150, either a late 60s or early 70s model. And unusually, there was a mural of a fish leaping from a lake covering the rear window of the pickup. The man beside her dropped the phone and headed back to the truck and Angie told Rob he was rummaging beneath the seats, seeking something out using a flashlight. He then approached the young woman. Angela asked, do you need to use the phone? The man said she should just continue with her call and that he'd try again later. From the other end of the phone line, Rob Schaefer heard an eerie, haunting scream from Angela as the phone clunked against the booth. A male's voice told Rob, I didn't need to use the phone anyways. The line went dead. In utter disbelief and panic, Rob threw himself into his truck and stepped on the gas, desperate to save Angela. Whilst on the road, a green pickup truck passed the 18-year-old and he heard Angela screaming his name. Instantly, he threw the car into reverse and made a U-turn. However, this manoeuvre caused damage to the transmission and devastatingly, his vehicle broke down and all he could do was watch the green pickup truck drive away into the distance with Angela. Despite all this sounding so convenient, Rob was cleared of any involvement by police, despite suspicions. Two witnesses also told authorities that they had seen the suspicious vehicle circling the food barn parking lot that evening. Furthermore, the time between Kyla last seeing Angie and Rob reporting her missing was a mere 45 minutes, not nearly enough time to dispose of or hide a body if murder had been committed. The vanishings of two other clerks in 1991, Trudy Darby and Cheryl Kenny, were thought to be linked to this case, however was later dropped as being a potential connection following the convictions of Jesse Rush and Marvin Cheney for murdering Trudy Darby. There is no evidence to suggest that Angela's disappearance is linked with that of Cheryl Kenny, the only similarities being that they were clerks and vanished outside convenience stores in early 1991. Thanks to Angela's quick thinking, police were able to obtain a description of her captor. The kidnapper was said to have been scruffy looking, sporting shoulder length white hair along with a beard and moustache and thought of him to be of an older age. 
He was also wearing overalls, a dark baseball cap and glasses. The truck's number plate included an X and Y, suggesting that the vehicle was from the state of Missouri. 1,600 potential matches were made, yet the truck and driver were never identified. Angela's abductor may have not even been local to the Clinton area. Since her disappearance, there have been several unconfirmed sightings of Angela Hammond in Canada. However, these claims have never come to fruition. It has been over 25 years since Angela's disappearance and authorities are no closer to finding out what happened to this young Missouri woman. She had her whole life ahead of her. Marriage, a child, all stolen from her on that fateful April night. It is heartbreaking to even imagine what Angela suffered that night and what destiny befell her. With the agony her loved ones have experienced, we can only hope that one day justice is served and the truth is finally brought to light.